G'day guys, how you going? I'm Isky and welcome to my YouTube video. I thought I'd show you how to replace a manual timer in a Simpson clothes dryer. And uh, it's a very easy thing to do. I can't believe it's taken me this long to make this video. I've made dozens of videos for YouTube teaching people how to replace virtually everything inside one of these machines. Uh, but I've never done the manual timer. And uh, probably one of the reasons is the manual timers don't really break down that often. But I've noticed just recently that I've seen more and more breaking down and that's because these machines are getting a lot older. So you have to kind of expect that. But the cool part is, the cool part is, listen, um, listen, before I get into that part, what are some signs? What are some signs that you need a new timer? Well, some, well, with this particular machine here, what's happening is it gets to around here or something like that, and then within two minutes, it skips half an hour. It just goes zzzz, <laughs> and it's almost done. So this timer needs to be replaced. But the problem I see, the most common problem I've noticed is that the timer will tick along and it'll get to one point like that and then it'll just stop but the machine will still get, keep going you'll you know it's still drying your clothes but the timer no longer works and the machine will just keep going forever and ever and ever so if that happens yeah you need a new timer although although the best part about that particular problem or any of these problems with the manual timers is you can generally still use your machine so the machines still work they still get hot um, yeah you just um, have to monitor it and you just have to open it up when you think it's dry and that's a really cool thing um, so yeah but but if you've got say a fully automatic machine this here is a very expensive Electrolux um, fully automatic dryer now that machine there is identical in every way to this machine here everything is exactly the same apart from this bit here and this one has the manual that one up there has the computer now if your computer goes bad hey listen you can't use your machine you basically you basically have to either you know get it fixed throw it away or get another computer and those computers are very expensive so it's just another kind of cool part about a manual you know clothes dry I reckon so I love these things but but bias aside let's get into this okay so up here we have ourselves a manual timer okay this is what it's going to look like if you order one brand new say on eBay or one of these websites online it will come out looking exactly like that and we need to put it in here it's a very easy thing to do let me just put this knob back around here all you need to do to do this fix is all you will need to do this fix tools wise is one Phillips head screwdriver and a pair of pliers or multi grips. The only reason you need the multi grips or pliers is because you want to kind of put your fingers, you want to be able to pull this out. Now, with this particular knob, I can pull it out because it's really nice. You can see how deep it is on both sides, it's great. I can actually put my fingers there, give it a bit of a pull, and pull that off. Now, this particular knob here is not the most common I will show you the most common one let's grab these as well the most common one is see this is the exact same dryer it's the exact same dryer it's a Simpson but have a look at that knob there can you see that it's got a deep part up here but the deep part on the other side isn't here it's, it's very shallow the deep part is down here so you can't actually get your fingers in there to pull that off I've never been able to, I think I've done it a few times. So I've always just used a pair of multi-grips or pliers, just stuck it there, give it a bit of a pull. Right, so there you go, I'll just get that back on. That's the only reason you need these pliers. But um, other than that, you need your screwdriver, basically because there's a screw on this side, you need to undo that screw there. And there is another one over here, all right? So let's get started. It's pretty easy, this process. I am just going to set you up here first of all. I'm just gonna grab my screwdriver. In fact, I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna be cheeky and use just a just a Phillips head on a on a driver. Save some time. One two there you go, you just wanna take those Phillips head screws out and we'll stick them over here. Now, just put the timer there. I'll just pull that off. There you go. 
<laughs> pull this off first. Okay, so all you want to do now is basically just kind of pull this out. Obviously, obviously make sure your machine is turned off. <laughs> there you go. Okay, let me just hang that there. It'll be okay to just hang it there and give you a quick look. There you go. Look at all those wires. It's pretty jumbled. It's a bit daunting, but um, we can do it. We, we can do it. Okay, so where can I set you? Um, listen, if I just put you here, is that going to work for us? That might work. Yeah, that'll be okay. Now, basically, um, what we need to do, there is a screw here, and there is a screw here. We need to take those two screws out. Phillips heads again. Let's just do that. Now, by the way, these screws that I'm taking out, depending on the age of your dryer, they may not be screws. And this is the worst part. I hate this. <laughs> have a look at this. See these screws over here? Some of the older dryers have these kind of hex screws. They're little hex things. Um, you can get them out with um, little um, spanners. It just takes a while. <laughs> Um, or you can get yourself some kind of socket to go over that. But yeah, some of the older ones are like that, but most of them, most of them these days are just normal Phillips heads, and that's exactly how they should be. All right, once you've done this, that, you'll be able to kind of wiggle this and it'll come out. There you go, just like that. So I'm just gonna change the angle of this camera. There we go, that's probably gonna be easier. <coughs> Okay, there you go. So that's your timer. Now we've got our other timer. All we're going to be doing now is basically pulling each one of these wires off these terminals. And at the same time, we are going to pull that one off here. You can see that's the far pin. We're going to put it on the far pin. We're just going to be transferring these wires. It's really, really easy. Now, let me just give you some tips when doing this. Let me give you some tips. Let me just sit down. If you have a look here, now to get some of these terminals off these, you know, sorry, some of these bits off these terminals, uh, there's a little tab just in, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little tab that you have to press. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. If you, I'm just using my fingernail to push a tab in here. It's gonna push that in and that should hopefully come off. Can I do it with one? Can I do it with one hand? Yeah, there you go. So that's it. So where did I pull that off? I pulled that off that pin there. So I am going to replace that orange wire and stick it on that pin there. And you get the drift. Okay, let's do it. Now, some of these other ones, you can see there's um, these ones here. Uh, they won't have the tab. You'll be able to, you should be able to actually pull these off without pushing up a tab. But, um, let's see how we go. I'm just going to kind of maybe time lapse this. And voila, all done. So all the wires have been transferred. And uh, this one here, 
this is junk. I'm just going to toss that in the bin. And there you go. Okay, where's our housing? So now what we need to do here, you can see, can you see those two tabs? There's one tab here, and there's one tab. They're more slots, they're basically slots. And what you need to do is you basically, you can see here, these parts here, they slot inside that. And at the same time, you have to, you can see this switch here, Let's put it let's put it over that side. Basically it has to go inside because that's your switch there, right? It has to fit inside that little bit there. So let's just kind of do that just like that. There you go. Pretty simple. And then we can put our screws back in. two and that's it now basically you just want to put it back together um, see these see these little tabs here one two three they basically just slot in these little sections here but at the same time you have to kind of sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to get in but um, most of the time it'll go in fine there you go S simple you just set you over here <laughs> bring it back around let's put our screws back in on either side knob back on there you go all right let's plug this in and test her out <laughs> there you go saved another one how good is that how quick was that I mean I like I said I can do this within you know three to five minutes it's very simple to replace a timer in a dryer um, and now you know how to do it. So if you've got those symptoms and you need a new timer, just get yourself a timer. Jump on eBay or you know any one of these sites that you can buy these parts through and get yourself a timer. You can even get yourself a used timer as long as they work. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Stop throwing your machines out. Stop taking them to the dump, okay? There's too much of that stuff going around. All right, anyway guys, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.